All right, everybody, we are live. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Crutchfield Facebook Live episode. I believe this is 12. Um, if you are watching, we're, we're live every, uh, what is it, every other Thursday at 4 p.m. If you're watching for the first time, thank you so much for joining. If you're coming back, thank you so much for joining. We are happy to be interacting with you in this uh, unique way today. Um, I am Dylan. I am a product advisor here at Crutchfield. And my name is Eric, and I am a copywriter. And we are uh, we are standing in kind of right mm -hmm. now. We're, we are hosting uh, this live together. And normally, of course, we have um, the one and only JR uh, who hosts these lives, mm -hmm. and he does an amazing job. But JR is actually uh, doing something unique. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's acting in a play, and I think today is opening day in Waynesboro, Virginia. So we're going to shoot it on over to a message from JR. Hey everybody at home on Crutchfield Live, this is JR. And as you can see, I don't look like I normally do. I am in costume. I am at the Wayne Theater in Waynesboro, Virginia. Uh, and I am performing in a musical called Something Rotten. Opening night is tonight, Thursday. And that's why I'm not hosting the show today. Thankfully, Dylan and Eric are gonna get the job done just fine without me. Hopefully, they'll let me host when I get back. Now, I'm playing the role of Nostradamus. He's a future seer. And that means I know who's going to win the four free Bose Flex speakers. I can't tell you yet for legal reasons. You're gonna have to wait until later in the show when we announce the winners. So, have a great time this week. I'll be back in two weeks for the next Crutchfield Live. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So it's good he's to got, see him. It's great to see him, <laughs> but completely out of, uh, wait, in character, out of character for the normal JR here, as we know him. Earring or no? I thought it was an earring. It looked like yeah. an earring. <laughs> an eyeliner, eyeliner for, for sure. sure. Yeah. For sure. You can <laughs> pick sure. up on the eyeliner. Well, that is, that's going to be really fun. I'm really excited to hear how that play goes for him. And uh, good luck, JR. Break a leg, as they say in showbiz, but don't. Um, so, okay, awesome. So, again, very excited to be here. One more, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but definitely uh, leave, as if you're watching on YouTube and or Facebook, um, leave comments, leave uh, thoughts and questions. Um, I got them open right here. We're going to try to answer your comments as you ask or, or your questions as you ask. Um, this is a live stream. You've probably seen this type of thing before, and it's kind of the point uh, to do this sort of thing, to engage with you. So definitely engage with us. We, we love to hear from you. Um, so, well, we have a really fun show, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It's going to be really mm -hmm. good. Um, so, number one, and I'll circle back to this in a moment, but we have a giveaway. Uh, we have uh, plugged this uh, several times in the past couple uh, lives. We are giving away not one, not two, not three, but four, four yeah. Bose Flex speakers, and we are going to be announcing the winners uh, at the end of this show. Now, if you have not entered um, yet, uh, you can do that, and I'm going to actually pass yeah. it to Eric, so you're going to show them how to do it. Yeah, I would hurry up and do that right now because we're doing that for about the first 15 minutes of the show at 4.15 Eastern time. We're going to be closing the entries, so now's the time to do that. Um, let's see. I actually have the page open uh, to show you how the entries can be, can be put in. Um, let's see, the Crutchfield Live giveaway. Yeah, you can see it now. That's what the speaker looks like, so you just pop in here and you will go... Type in your email address and your name. And we got a hashtag that gives you an extra 25 entries. And it is, where'd I put it? It is hashtag, that's the name of the speaker. Sound Link Flex. And you agree to the rules because we always follow the rules. And then you hit enter. There you go. That's 26, 26? entries, yeah, if you do it the right way. Yes, and I apologize, Eric. I, uh, I, I was supposed to toss you that ball in a Did few minutes. Did you jump the gun? I totally jumped the gun. <laughs> well, you know, it's this. I'm a veteran of doing this. Just kidding. First I think time. it's a good idea, though, because you really have a limited time to get your entries in. So, yeah. So do it while we're talking. Maybe it felt natural. So, yes, yeah. please enter. Um, we are going to be uh, announcing the four winners at the end of the show. So... Stay tuned, um, and if you if you aren't if you can't stay tuned or if you're not tuned at all, <laughs> and you're one of the winners, you will be notified via email too. So okay, so that's that's number one. I'm very excited. We we're really actually overly excited about this <laughs> yeah, giveaway. I think possibly. this is the first the first <laughs> giveaway we've done on a, a Crutchfield yeah. Live, right? Um, and uh, I feel very honored and privileged to be a part of that. Yeah. Um, and okay, so 
what else do we have going on today? Um, so we got the giveaway. We're going to be, uh, Eric is going to be talking with uh, jo uh, Jeff Miller, our headphone writer, head the headphone guy, um, who actually is at the Expona Audio Show in Chicago, uh, which is actually a weekend show, I believe, but he's there already getting some sort of, you know, pre uh, preview, inside scoop information. Um, I'm sure he's going to learn a lot there. Um, and then what else? We got, oh, I'm sure many of you know, but if you don't, tomorrow, Friday, is Earth Day. Um, so we get to take a day to reflect on our beautiful planet on which we live and how to preserve it and how to treat it well. Um, so we're going to be talking about actually how Crutchfield contributes to that effort. Um, what What is our uh, packaging process like? How do we... Uh, use sustainable materials and implement sustainable processes. And we're going to be talking with the very person who runs our distribution center. Um, so I'm going to have him up in a few minutes. Uh, that's going to be a cool conversation. Uh, what else? We got um, more about Earth Day. Uh, so Eric is going to be covering, uh, what are we talking about there? House of Marley. House of Marley, yeah. which is a very cool brand, very hip brand, but also great sounding, great quality product brand that also cares very much for the environment mm -hmm. um, and and pretty much bases all of their efforts uh, around that. Um, and then also Saturday, which I didn't realize until like mm, two days ago, there's such thing as a record store day, mm -hmm. which is Saturday, right? Yes. Yes. And so Eric is going to explain what all that is about too. Um, so yes, uh, we have any comments yet? Not yet, but we've just gotten started. So no rush, um, but do in fact leave your comments because we want to hear from you. Um, so yeah, this is the moment we were ta supposed yeah. to talk about the, how to enter the giveaway. I got a which lot more to say you. about these things. <laughs> yeah. Well, and is, is there anything else yeah. we need to, uh, folks need to know about? Uh, I, it, it doesn't hurt to reiterate. If you're, if right. you're just, what time is it? It's it's getting close to four fifteen. The entry, the the contest closes at four fifteen. That's Eastern time, um, and that is the last moment that you can get your entries in. Uh, what's the code word again? Uh, it's the name of the speaker, yes. Soundlink Flex, with a hashtag in front of it. You got to put the hashtag. You in You got to put it. the hashtag in front yeah. of it, or the pound sign. That's important, and that gives you 25 additional entries into the barrel, whatever we're pulling them out of. I don't know what we're pulling. Fish bowl. Fish, um, virtual fish bowl. <laughs> yeah, random selection. Yeah, random number selector. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, something um, like that. I've never seen how that one of those yeah. things actually run. But let's talk about what these things are. Yeah. They're portable speakers. You can take them anywhere you go. They're waterproof, so you really can take them anywhere you go on a boat. If if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a 12 hour battery life, which I think is longer than my phone will last anyway, but yeah. that's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they have something they call position IQ technology. So whether you turn it this way, that way, the sound is going to sound right. Yes. And that's kind of a cool thing. Bose is always on the forefront with uh, coming up with new technology and making things sound good. Oh, yes. Uh, and that's one of the things that they do in this speaker. And they're hugely popular. Um, so definitely, this is something that would be a great idea to, oh, if you yeah. get a chance to win one for free, I would do it. Um, we're giving away these four here, and these are all the black version. They do come in different colors, which uh, you are seeing right now. Um, they have one called Stone Blue and White Smoke. So if you don't happen to win one of the black ones, maybe you will want to uh, check out one of those other colors. Um, let's see, um, and we'll be announcing the winners at the end of the show, uh, but right now we are about at the end of the time when you can enter, so I would go ahead and jump on that and do it now. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and I heard that you already have one of these speakers. Oh, um, <laughs> well, now that you mention yeah. it, yes, I do. Um, I had I had a fun time doing um, the our review video for the... Um, the um, Soundlink Flex. Soundlink Flex. Yeah. It's Remember a long the name, name of the product we're giving it's away. It's a long Dylan. name. <laughs> um, yes, uh, and actually, uh, afterwards, I, uh, I, well, now I'm the proud owner. I'll just put it that way because I was very impressed. And not only is this the Soundlink Flex speaker just, you know, by itself, it's no ordinary. <laughs> this, folks, is my Soundlink Flex speaker. Now, the reason for it, no, it's not because Sunday was Easter, but because. <laughs> Um, when you are setting up your speaker in the, um, the Bose Music app, uh, there is an option to name your speaker if you, if you need, if you ha want to have that kind of connection with your Bose <laughs> speaker, you can do that. Um, so you can name a custom name, but when I was demoing the speaker uh, that, was, uh, that I was able to use for that time, I didn't know it was, you know, I didn't think about having one to belong to me, so I just uh, decided to uh, pick Bose random name selection and 
Wouldn't you know it, the name Hocus Pocus was allotted to the speaker. And so, for fun, I thought I'd share with you this. Well, you get it, right? I mean, do you get the, this, the correlation of the rabbit? Yeah. Not Easter. This is too close <laughs> to Easter. I shouldn't have done the joke. I'm no, just kidding. Um, no, but you know, remember the old uh, cartoons, the rabbit out of the hat? That's what yeah. this is. Except there's a very fine sounding rabbit with mm. position IQ. I feel like, in fact, this might be one of the most intelligent rabbits that's ever been on Crutchfield property. No offense, to, I mean, we do have woods and stuff around. It's not, mm -hmm. I, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, this is live. I can't take that back. Excuse me, rabbits. Um, That's so. out there now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, guess we have something really cool around the corner. Um, we have, uh, yeah, Eric, you, yeah. you got that, right? Yeah, I think we're about ready to, uh, to head to Chicago or Schaumburg, Illinois. Um, let's see, and we've got Jeff Miller. Uh, can you hear me, Jeff? Sorry, I was clicking on the mute button. Well, we, we appreciate that. We were doing a lot of yik yakking while you guys were. So, um, all right. So, you are, why are you there? Why are you in Chicago? I'm here at the Expona Audio Show, and I actually have the event director, Liz Smith. I grabbed her. She was literally working, email, doing emails up to the minute before we started um, <laughs> talking here. So, um, she. She gave us a few minutes, and you want to explain what sure. that was? Sure. So um, Expona is an audio expo. It's taking place this weekend. Um, we're in Schaumburg, Illinois, so right in the Chicago area. Um, and the show is all weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We open tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's open to the public, so anyone can come on down and buy a ticket. And really, the show is all about audio and music, so you can come and uh, you know listen to amazing sound systems and compare them, discover new products. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm here covering it for Crutchfield. Um, we have a lot of different, a lot of our vendors here, a lot of vendors we don't carry here, but um, just, you know, everywhere you go, it, it, as soon as I walk through the building, they have, we haven't even started setting things up. It's like this kinetic, mm -hmm. palpable energy, um, you know, ready to go. Yeah, I, I remember we attended a, a, one of our local audio shows together one time, and I remember that feeling. It's so amazing to walk into a room and see, uh, pretty much everything that you could ever imagine and some things that you can't imagine uh, from the commercial audio world or the, uh, sorry, consumer audio world uh, all in one place. Uh, that's kind of the coolest thing about it. Um, yeah. Uh, and when you you talked about that, mm -hmm. when we went to Capital Audio Fest, that's right. a very nice show. This is like um, just a, a, so much <laughs> grander scale. Mm -hmm. um, I naively asked you, Liz, like, is there, a, is there like a way like to go through it? Um, and it's really more like, instead of like a movie where there's like a scene you're looking for, it's a open world video game where there's all these little nooks and crannies. Mm. Um, after, we're right beside the ear gear section. So that's my main mission as the headphone writer. <laughs> right. Um, you wanna talk about a little bit about some of the different places? Yeah, so we've got, um, so we take over the entire building. We have 130 plus like listening rooms at the show this year. So. Um, so in the listening rooms, that's where we were saying, like, you go in, you can sit and listen to a whole system. Um, we're in the headphone room. The, the, we call it our ear gear experience. So that's our space dedicated to headphones and personal audio. Um, tons of brands here. Mm -hmm. There's, like, Hi-Fi Man. There's Odyssey. There's um, Meze there's Audio. Meze's here. Yeah, Swan Song. Warwick Acoustics actually has assembled a sound booth yeah. right here. Oh, so nice. We, to, None of the shit, none of the, nothing will interfere with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, it's really cool watching that come together. And then we have an expo hall where you can, um, you know, buy more like smaller components. Like you can mm -hmm. buy cables, you can buy um, turntables. And there's also a record fair. So we have vendors that bring in, like right now they're loading, unloading like crates and crates of vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. now, now I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys said that you're, you're talking about record store day mm -hmm. on um, it's coming up on Saturday. A little later. Mm -hmm. This has got to be one of the biggest record stores, quote unquote, yeah. in the, no, <laughs> in got the country like the, right now. We've got like some, especially like some of like the major like online uh, like purveyors of vinyl are here. We've got um, we have Music Direct, we have um, Acoustic Sounds, and uh, Elusive Disc are like both mm -hmm. here, all here with uh, huge booths. So lots of vinyl. A lot of digging in the crates. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. Um, so Liz, I know uh, probably for a few years here, you guys haven't been able to do this live. Uh, how were you able to kind of get through that period where you couldn't do it live and how great is it to be able to do it uh, all in person again? 
we are I'll just say like we are so thrilled to be <laughs> back um last time we held the show was April 2019 so it's been three years like yesterday like or even this morning like exhibitors were coming in and like you know some of them haven't seen each other because like mm -hmm. you know this is really coming from all over the country so they were just like hugs big smiles it's really cool like we are thrilled to have that community coming back together but you know for us it was tough you know the pandemic was really hard for um anyone doing live events i mean from trade shows to concerts anyone in the hospitality industry like it was really hard like we did a lot of um community engagement online like i learned how to post webinars like yeah. stuff like that you know try to provide education but you know for us we're a trade show company and like we're 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 all about making this live event happen mm -hmm. so um you know it's been tough but we're thrilled to be back mm -hmm. and yeah, and the cool one of the cool things I think has happened in the last couple of years is like people have kind of really rediscovered high end audio and some mm -hmm. of the principles at the same time as kind of colliding with the newer technologies. High res streaming is something that's, I mean, more companies do it. Cobuzz, um, mm -hmm. Apple Music. There's uh, we have stronger modems now. We have better uh, networks that we, where we can we can do that kind of thing. Spatial audio. I saw some some stuff about spatial audio. So there's the so here it's kind of like um, the two. It's like this heady mix of old and new, where yeah. it's like turntables, even reel to reels are up here. It's like oh, a wow. bunch of vintage gear. It's yeah, cra it's crazy. United Home <laughs> United Home Audio brings in like a couple of different vendors do, but they do this really cool thing where at night they do these after hour listen after hours listening sessions, and you can go like listen to some some tape. It's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. Seriously, if you're in driving distance, if you're still watching the video, it's for you. Come on, come on down. I actually just got a note from our director saying that someone who's watching asked, "Is Focal going to be there?" So I think we might be oh. talking somebody into coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're going to be here. But they have they are in Utopia A, yeah, and they have a huge, beautiful room. I went up to see the Focal guys. I sent along a picture. I don't know if we could. If, we can quickly, but they're constructing some kind of apparatus thing. Like they're they're doing this on a grand scale, and every room has this like really like everything has charm and character. It's not like mm -hmm. this. You, I mean, you might get the idea of coming to see a bunch of gear. Um, they really make everything nice. Like try, like they'll put flower. There's there's yeah. plants and things in there. Sometimes lava lamps. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> and every room's got its own sort of character. Yeah, right? like some exhibitors give you a beer. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> some of them have like mints. And, like all depends on what vibe they have. Yeah. yeah. All right, and uh, uh, Jeff, I have to ask you like a personal question. Have you been to Chicago before? I have been. It was like 27 years ago or something. I actually went. Uh, went to Second City uh -huh. and Tina Fey was a cast member. Oh, nice. Um, so There's... I have the program. I wish I had brought it with me. I still have that program. Yeah. Uh, so that just kind of kind of dates it. But uh, yeah, came here with an <laughs> uh, English teacher conference for my dad. Haven't been back, but tonight I'm going to Wrigley Field finally for the first time ever. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I, was, I was going to ask you if, if you had tried any of the uh, signature Chicago cuisine yet. Not yet. I just had like a piece of fruit come up in the thing, but does not count. Does not count. No. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, that, to all of it. Some deep dish. The deep dish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, hot dogs. The, the, yeah. Uh, the, um, everybody, I guess chicken parm is a big. Like, yeah. I guess any kind of Italian food. Oh, you know what's really good? That um, I think it's called like the Italian beef like sandwich. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's one I've heard about, but I haven't tried. But but I I'm, I know that this is this is part of the great thing about being able to be there in person, be in Chicago, is you're going to get to experience the city as well, uh, as well as all the great audio equipment and uh, spending time with uh, people we haven't seen in a long time, maybe meeting some people that you haven't met before who make incredible audio products. And so uh, I really look forward to hearing uh, what kind of stuff you learn when you're there, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, plan on getting some uh, interviews in with some people. Hopefully, have a show review up on the site when we get back. Um, sending along some Instagram photos, so um, we, we got it covered. Next year, we need all you got all you video team people to come with us. But um, you guys ready? Year, <laughs> yeah, they're all coming. <laughs> all right. Well, thank thank you, right. Liz. Any any last pitch to the to the people or last things to say? Uh, just visit <laughs> expona.com for tickets. You can buy them online, buy them at the bar. And yeah, we're here all weekend. So. Thank you so much thank for your you. time. All right. Oh, yes. You.
Thanks to both of you, and have a great time at the game, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. That was fantastic. Man, deep dish pizza? Is that what we were getting at? Yeah. Basically, in Chicago, uh, more of everything. More. <laughs> you more get a sauce. hot dog with a salad on top. You do. <laughs> yeah, it's you get, it's yeah. common to put a whole pick or a quarter of a pickle <laughs> on a hot dog, right? Um, something like that. Something yeah. like that, like the Chicago dog. Um, real quick, I just wanted to I, I wanted to get to this earlier, and then I just skipped right over it. I'm sorry, folks. Um, so we got several comments. First, I wanted to uh, we got a shout out. Uh, hi from Rafael in Puerto Rico. Hey, hey thank Rafael. you so much for watching. Um, and Jack in Austin, Texas. Uh, and let's see, we got a couple comments over here in the YouTube chat. Um, so uh, now I think this is uh, G Pena, 783. Thanks for the live segments. Uh, I, he has, says he's busy schedule and try to get online when I get a chance. Hey, thanks for tuning in whenever you get a chance. Um, it's, it's special to have you and others a part of it. Really cool. Um, and then there's a question on the SoundLink Flex we can answer maybe real quick. And I we think, I, think to, I know the yeah. answer on this. It's uh, Jerry. Uh, Drogopoulos uh, asks, will the Bose SoundLink Flex also work with a soundbar with Bluetooth as an extra speaker? Oops. If memory serves me, I believe that the, the Flex can be paired with another Flex um, and then a couple of the other uh, Bose wireless uh, Bluetooth speakers. Um, and I think only two at a time. So it could be like stereo mode or party mode. I believe you know, we might probably want to fact check on that, but thank you for that question. That's a really good question, and that's a question we get a lot. Um, I, as I mentioned, I'm a product advisor, so I get questions all day, every day, and uh, can we add more sound to the home? So that's a, that's a fantastic question. What's yeah, it there? does look like I've, I've pulled up the web page here, and it's, it looks like we can pair them together in stereo mode or party mode, like you yeah. mentioned. Also, I think just using the app is going to help you set it up the way you really want to set it up. Absolutely. Yes, the app is really the home base uh, for the uh, Flex, and it's going to be you know how you determine well, anything and everything you can do hmm. other than dip it in some water and it's still going to be okay. That You don't do that <laughs> through the app. Um, and uh, let's see. So we got uh, Scott says, hey, everybody, great giveaway. Thank you. We are excited about it, obviously. Uh, Bo's Bunny. Yeah, <laughs> Bo's Bunny. Um, uh, let's see. We got... Um, oh, the clarification on the Focal. Is Focal going to be there? Mm -hmm. So... This is a commenter called Darkroom. Uh, should, uh, let's see, it should have been a little clearer. Our, uh, is Focal going to show their headphones off? You already own some of the speakers. Now you need a headset. Well, you're mm -hmm. on the right path Yeah. Uh, because Focal does a great job. It sounded like from what Jeff said that, that yes, the headphones are going to be part of what they show off. Um, I think he, you know, they haven't finished setting up their booth yet, so he may not even know for sure yeah. what they're going to show us. But uh, uh, Jeff has a good nose for headphone, mm, so sure I'm does. pretty sure. Yeah, if, if Jeff's there, there will be headphones. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the the headphone guy. Goes by <laughs> yeah. name. That's kind yeah. Of he has a real title, but that's title. what we call him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so and yeah, and as uh, I think I mentioned this before, I, they're not starting quite yet. They are. Uh, I think uh, they begin the um, show begins tomorrow and runs through the weekend. So it's sort of you know, VIP access right now, um, I guess. Uh, cool. So then we have, um, let's see, Chicago dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was uh, Evan Reynolds. We love a good Chicago dog. Yes, we do. Um, and let's see, Sp sport peppers on the hot dog. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's in there, too. Peppers. Yes. Oh, man. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Um, let's see. OK. And then Matthew Massenberg. I'm Jeff's brother-in-law taking you around Chicago. I will ensure he gets the full flavor. Yes, that's fantastic. You have you know somebody, and you know somebody. Um, and then, uh, yeah, great. So just keep comments coming. We're going to keep bouncing back to those. But for now, um, I think so Eric's going to step off for a yep. moment. Um, and here's where we get into the how does Crutchfield contribute to a uh, cleaner and more sustainable environment. I'm going to ask uh, Chris. Um, he is our Chief Fulfillment Officer at our Distribution Center to come up and join me to have a conversation about exactly all things <laughs> hi, uh, pertaining to Crutchfield's efforts in that arena. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Really yeah. appreciate the time. Um, you have a lot going on every day. Yes. At yes, your job, we're... which is, what, how would you describe your uh, position? Jeez Louise, You're... I'm the... Uh... 
a fixer of obscure problems and, and head toilet plunger at times, too. So I, I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> do a little bit yeah, of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, um, over at the distribution center, which is really just a stone's throw away from here. Yeah, we're about 40 yards through the woods over yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, and we've got two distribution centers here in Charlottesville. There's one about eight eight miles away. So, That's right, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot going on, a, mo a lot of moving parts. Just rough estimate, how, how many boxes leave our facilities every day you think oh geez i don't know somewhere between five and eight thousand a day uh, um, in that neighborhood and we're we're running sunday through friday how about yeah, that yeah so it's sunday through friday sunday through oh, friday wow. seven to midnight seven a.m to midnight so man we're busy <laughs> yeah very busy and a lot yeah. of gr a lot of uh, folks in the group there working yeah day yeah, and night yeah doing yeah. a great job i've got a great team oh yeah. yeah you certainly do i mean really from a product advisor standpoint i mean if I get calls about critiques, it's never about our distribution process and timing. And in fact, actually, side note, this happens a lot. I'll get yep. calls and I say, and say, can I make an edit on an order? I just placed it maybe 30 minutes ago. And sure enough, almost every time I'll pull it up, it's already gone to order processing. Yeah. You guys are already working on it. And That's it's, cool. uh, it's, it's good. It's That's a good, good thing. But we yeah. can you know, we'll backtrack if we need to. Um, cool. So I have a... a, a group of questions to ask okay. you and of course pertaining to tying it back into Earth Day which is tomorrow um, how does Crutchfield contribute to a, a sustainable packaging and distribution process what are our materials etc so yeah we'll get into that okay um, great just for a moment okay so um, our warehouses being as busy as they are um, how 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 do they run like how how well oiled of a machine are they today as opposed to like when you started which i don't know when that was yeah so i started in 2005 and uh we made we made a, a lot of changes but it was already a really well run machine when i got here and so um we've added um some conveyor and automation and really kind of tried to strategically add automation to it to speed it up and to your point earlier we can technically get a box out in about five minutes. That's awesome. Uh, and, and, you know, that, that that number floats a little bit. But um, but so I inherited, when I, when I came on board, uh, a really well-running organization. So that helped my life out a lot. Oh, to, yeah. To have that. Um, and, um, yeah, we're, we're uh, you know, one facility is kind of more automation heavy. The other facility is the larger items. And it's a little more manual, a little more labor intensive. Right. But I, I've got a great team that, that just... Uh, my daily worry is not can we make service level and will everything ship, you know. Yeah. That, that's a, right. They take care of everything pretty well. So. Well, that's awesome. And I imagine the the amount of orders coming in and leaving um, has grown since 2005. Oh, yeah. 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 So we've, we've <laughs> I don't even, I can't even remember the back that far. What, uh, it's, it's we've, we've probably at least doubled since that point. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, easily. And oh, yeah. uh, um, it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun 16 years oh I think yeah. I've been here. yeah yeah oh absolutely yeah. and so obviously they're being six what did you say six thousand i think so, somewhere between between five and eight thousand a day five depends on how they, how they roll in well so obviously we have to keep up with a lot of materials i mean we have to be mm -hmm. producing and reproducing and, and and reusing and whatever we do all these materials um we're, we're looking at some of them here we'll, we'll get to that in a second because yeah. that's gonna be fun but um but yeah i mean so we well, I guess primarily it's things like, well, the box and materials and then packing peanuts. And how do we get, how do we maintain that? Um, uh, so I've got a, a good crew of administrative staff that helps stay ahead of that. We've got sort of trigger points to reorder. Um, and we always have uh, some redundant supplies on hand so that if something went wrong, we've got a few weeks to, to try and correct it and yeah. just cl clear it up. But we order a lot of stuff in. I mean, we, we, we stay on top of it and stay active yeah. with it. And uh um, and it's, it's the one good thing about working here is we've got so many good numbers and stats at our, our disposal so we can, we can watch how the volume fluctuates and make sure we're ready for it. Uh, right. As you know, holiday season ramps up and all that. Kind Absolutely. Of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, and obviously Crutchfield is mindful of making that process efficient. Obviously mm -hmm. it is very efficient, but also yeah. sustainable in terms of the environment. Um, we try. <laughs> yeah, and I think from what I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know the ins and outs, obviously, like you do, yeah. but from what I know, we do a fantastic job, even just down to the materials of what what our packing peanuts are made of, yes. which is not your ordinary styrofoam or other type of 
environmentally totally unfriendly material. This, what is this all about? So uh, this is starch. Um, we partnered with a company called New Starch Solutions and um, in 2008. And uh, prior to that, we were bringing in truckloads of styrene peanuts, which has always bugged me. And um, I actually met this guy uh, at a conference. We were just talking at a social gathering thing they do at these conferences. And, and um, he said, oh, I'm in the starch business. And I'm like, well, what, what does that mean? <laughs> and so he started talking about it. So it's effectively, um, you know, their goal is to, they can provide starch cheaper than people can buy styrene. Yeah. And um, and at first I didn't believe it, but, you know, it's been just a win-win-win for us. It's it's cheaper, it's faster, it's yeah. good for the environment. And uh, um, so we've got a machine and we got an extruder. It's the same extruder they make cheese puffs with. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, and it just, we, we crank out and make our own, our own starch void fill. So the raw material is sort of a, like mm-hmm. a... I don't know what you'd call these, like pellets. Yeah. And there's a moisture content in it, and uh, you run it through the machine, and sort of a foam peanut comes out the other end. Yeah. And we, we harvest those and use those to fill in any gaps we have in our boxes. That is fantastic. So, that, yeah. so we've come, actually, night and day difference between in terms of sustainability and environmentally friendly from then to yeah. now. Yeah, it was, we were, we were, pumping a lot of styrene out in the world and we're oh, not yeah. doing that we're not doing so, that anymore no no, no. so and a, everybody was too Start, starch was fairly new and right. it's a it's a it's a different world but it's a good thing to do so, that's oh man yeah. I've, I've like got so many questions <laughs> they're not on here yeah um but uh, let me go to the comments and see what we have maybe um so let's see we got any questions oh, okay uh, is this is a good question? Um, well, let me go to this one ahead. Okay. okay so Evan Re- Evan Reynolds asks, um, <clears throat> I know you guys use biodegradable packaging peanuts already. How else is Crutchfield as a company expanding our sustainability efforts? Um, if, if we can, I heard a rumor of uh, perhaps um, a what it was kind of teasing a um, machine that might convert wa- convert. Yeah, we've got, actually, I I signed the agreement on that today, but we're, um, if I can back up for a second. So we've, we've partnered with a company called PackSize that makes your shipping box on demand. And so um, what that allows us to do is as orders come in electronically, um, this machine takes the item dimensional information and makes the smallest box possible Mm -hmm. for that order. And so this machine gives us, it's something like 25,000 different box sizes it'll make on demand. Wow. And it feeds our, our small small box facility. And so um, that in and of itself has been a big, big win for us. And, um, and pack size, I don't, I don't have the, I didn't bring the stats with me, but pack size was founded um, to basically save the planet. And it gets into how many less trucks are on the road. Right less tires, less brakes, less gas consumption. And it, it's really fascinating to, to start diving into it. And, That's awesome. And we've been partnered with them since 2013, I believe. Okay. In Act, I've got like seven or eight pack size machines that run um, multi-facets of the whole distribution process. That's, and that's it's really, really cool. That is yeah. very cool. So, because, you know, if you've shopped with Crutchfield before, you know, we, we carry huge items we carry tiny items like earbuds you can get a ear, a thing of earbuds mm-hmm. and you might order for somebody else and maybe your 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 box is the size like a shoebox size when really it probably doesn't need to yeah, be or yeah. maybe something larger yeah, it doesn't need yeah. to be um that's awesome that's fantastic yeah. so that's really cutting down and it has this trickle down effect it's not just mm-hmm. the boxes and the cardboard and the material safe but it's like you said less trucks on the road oh yeah it it, it, it and, and cardboard's highly recyclable too yeah. and 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 so, you know, uh, you start going down the rabbit hole. It's amazing what, what you can do to, to help out. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, to your previous question, so we've got some scrap corrugate because of the way the machine works. Mm-hmm. And so we're purchasing a machine that takes the scrap corrugate and it, it kind of runs it through this set of grinder knife things. And it spits out a, uh, it, it, it's a replacement for bubble wrap. Yeah. And so we're going to start doing that here in the next month or so and uh, try and eliminate all of our bubble wrap needs. We, we don't do a ton, but there's, you know, there's a few thousand dollars a year we spend on bubble wrap. Yeah. And it'd uh, be nice to get rid of that. Too, Absolutely. So. Just so, just basically revamping the whole 
process yeah. and making it sustainable and environmentally friendly. Yeah. That's awesome. I like that, that. That feels good to know we're yeah. all part of a group that cares <laughs> about the environment. We try. That way. You know. Yes, uh, try very hard, it seems. Um, so let's uh, see if we have any more comments on uh, any more questions. Um, so let's see. Is there any problems, um, experiencing any problems, maybe due to you know the shortages and such to get the sustainable materials and machines right now? no we yeah. were we were worried about that especially during the the height of you know uh, all of the various holdups in the supply chain with covid mm -hmm. over 20 and 21 but we uh, we came through it uh, without any problems Good. and and so um uh, and again, both our, our partners that help us do all this or do a really good job of looking out for their customers and They're stuff. They're really and trying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So cool. Thanks for those questions. Really good questions there. Um, oh, this is a great question from Daniel. Uh, this is over in the Facebook comment section. How many employees does the Crutchfield Distribution Center have? Now? Oh, geez, I'm, I'm at about 173 range yeah yeah getting yeah. their steps there's in some part-time we got some college kids there and some yeah. part-time here and there so but uh but yeah so it's it's busy <laughs> it's busy yeah. you got a lot of machines materials uh processes and, and people to look after yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's awesome i commend you that's really cool um well i have i have something here as you can see why, why is there a bowl of water in front of us yes. um and you mentioned this this would what would you call this little uh, we we call them starch pellets starch pellets yeah. so they look like tapioca don't they kind of do yeah. don't put these in a don't yeah. eat these um but speaking of that though here's the thing yeah you mentioned cheese puffs so yes. the machine that produces these is the same one that that produces cheese puffs yes. which go figure because this looks like a white cheddar cheese puff yeah and it <laughs> feels like one and it's the same size. So should you be not paying attention at all and very hungry, you might put one of these in the mouth. But if you did, yeah. would that be all right? I, it, it, new starch will tell you it's not FDA approved. I have eaten them to show off. So I'll eat one if you'll eat one. You want to eat one? Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yes. there you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and it is bland. Yes. <laughs> I, I gotta, yes. Yeah, there you Chris, go. Chris, that was the, my best favorite, most. But. Do not be eating peanuts out there. <laughs> okay, so yeah. here's the thing. My take, I'm going to do a yeah. little quick uh, flavor review. Yeah. Actually, somewhat, maybe it's just in my brain, if you were to strip the flavoring off of a, of a cheese puff, mm -hmm. have we been eating p uh, packing peanuts this whole time? <laughs> when did we cheese puffs come out? I don't know. Fifties, I guess. Yeah, 40s, we've been deceived, all of us. Yeah, so it's all starch. Um, it's all starch. It's all and sustainable salt. packing yeah. materials. Well, so okay, and then also, I guess we have this this handful of the remaining, or we could just eat them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we've got this is hot water, and this is further to explain and dis and um, what's the word? Show off sure how are. these yeah. will dissolve now. If you gave it enough time, and this is pretty warm water, yeah, it would they would dissolve, right? It would probably yeah, they will they will liquefy i mean and you can you know i don't have a towel sure. up here here but i've got this yeah that this, might uh, be better than me doing check this that. out anybody have this at home it's, it's a milk it's frother a milk frother yeah you want to do the honors yeah sure so we'll get this so, process going faster is there a button uh, or is it just a, a poke oh the top you just yes the, it's like a waterproof whoa oh, hey that will do it and uh <laughs> it, they're gone yeah they will basically um uh, over, you know, they, they, they dissolve pretty easily. That is most excellent. And apparently there's there's a lot, if you go out on YouTube and play around, there's a lot of videos of like art projects and stuff you can do with them. And, I, you know, yeah. I, have, I haven't gotten that in into the weeds on it. But right. The, or those cake making uh, contests they yeah. do on, or they, it's a beautiful, incredible cake that looks like a mm -hmm. soccer ball. You don't want to eat it because like it's been massively handled. But. but if you had a compost, you know, if you had a compost pile or something, you can throw them out in it, cover them up and they'll disappeared and oh that yeah kind of thing, so I, this is yeah. that is the coolest thing and i think someone said <laughs> um uh this was uh gypsy lights said on uh, youtube they won't make your fingers yellow that's for sure that's true <laughs> they won't the the the, the cheese pub dust um yeah. man that's awesome well so I, that i mean i honestly i feel like I, i'm i'm gonna 
have to have a conversation later with okay. you because I'm terribly curious about yeah. all the things that, that you do and that we do okay. for the environment and also just to just to get our customers what they've ordered mm -hmm. in a good amount of time and keep everybody happy. But um, I think that's all we can cover for now. Okay. And thank you. And yep. that was thank the fun, that was the most fun yeah. thing I've ever done. Yeah, camera, fun. eating that, and it wasn't gross. No, and it's not gross. Thank you, Chris, so much for the time. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Awesome. Wow. How about that? Well, that was more fun than it had any right to be. Let that me tell you. That was extremely fun. <laughs> I never knew eating packing material would have been <laughs> such a thrill. Down there. I have never realized that. <laughs> awesome. Well, what do we got? Let's see. Um, everybody, we, uh, we've been switching over from this to that real quick <laughs> in this show so far. So do, again, drop your comments, Facebook live, YouTube chat, YouTube live. Um, we want to continue to hear from you. We are inching ever closer to our giveaway. I'm starting to have loads of, in, of the yeah. excitement. Yeah. You know, but not too much because I have to still sit here. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got a little more stuff to talk about before we get to the, the really cool part where we get to give stuff to people for free. Yeah. Um, we do have some <laughs> stuff. This, this ties into the Earth Day conversation that we just had in the conversation about sustainable materials um, and also you know it's on sale right now so it's not free like the Bose SoundLink speakers will be but this is stuff that's on sale right now. Um, this is House of Marley. Uh, this is a company that we just uh, started carrying like I don't even think it's been a full year right. at this point that we've had House of Marley stuff, but uh, you might recognize the name. Uh, this is a company that works with Bob Marley's family to kind of keep his legacy alive and enact some of the things that he believed in in uh, making audio equipment. Um, so their principles are they want high quality, sustainability, and they have a commitment to charitable causes. And so you can see all of those things uh, in what they do with the, these uh, speakers, headphones, and turntables that they make. So uh, some of the materials that they use are, uh, they use, you can see almost always, this fast-growing, self-regenerating bamboo. This uh, is the sort of thing that, that you know, grows wild, and it has a great tensile strength but uh, when you cut it down, it's not dead like a tree. Right. It's gonna come back. Yep. And it grows very fast, so it's a wonderful product to use for something like this. Uh, any wood that they have that is not bamboo, uh, which I would imagine that these parts here are, they don't look like bamboo to me, that wood is certified by a uh, organization called the Forest Stewardship Council, and they only work with farms or, or tree farms that use sustainable practices. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, they've really thought of everything. As I go down the list, I'm amazed at how many ways that they've come up with to make something like this uh, in a sustainable way. Uh, they use recycled and recyclable aluminum. That's what the tone arm on the turntable is made out of. Um, so, yeah, like it's, it's already, they're using stuff that's already been recycled, but if someday, you know, 100 years from now, you uh, are done with this turntable and you bought the newer version or whatever, <laughs> still recyclable. Everything in there can just be used again. Right. Um, and that's the goal. Um, this is actually one of my favorite things. This uh, mat that they put on here is made out of something called regrind silicone. Um, it's reclaimed silicone. They use it for the slip mats, uh, some of the speaker backs. Um, and the protective bumpers on some of the stuff. Um, and you can tell it just looks different. It looks mm -hmm. like it's got, uh, you know, every one of these Specs. is probably going to look different. Yeah, because it's been ground back up yeah. and reformed into something useful. Uh, let's see. The, this fabric here is called Rewind Fabric. 30% reclaimed organic cotton, 30% reclaimed hemp, 40% recycled polyester. Uh, it's packaged in recycled paper. And uh, anytime they use cork, it's responsibly harvested cork that keeps the tree alive. Right. Um, which I know was always kind of a, when you were dealing with cork, it was kind of like, oh, a lot of people use, do that in a destructive way. Not this company. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And then they also have charity partners that they work with uh, that, that's very important to them. Um, they support global reforestation via One Tree Planted and ocean conservation via the Surf Rider Foundation. 
So they do a lot of cool stuff. They and, just, uh, yeah, they sure do. I've got them pulled up on the computer right now, so I can kind of give you a little quick tour. And we have of, some sales, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Most of them are on sale. Uh, the turntables are not, but they're actually very reasonably priced anyway. But, like, if you look at this, everywhere where you see those little uh, those red price lines mm -hmm. where it says minus number, that's yeah. a good number. That means you're going to pay less <laughs> like for, for this. Uh, like, there's the headphones that we've got on the table. And you'll notice that all of the names bear some uh, relation to a lyric of a Bob Marley song, which I think is very cool. And one of my favorite touches is actually on the turntable on the tone arm, they've put a, a Bob Marley quote. It's etched into the aluminum here. Yeah. It says, when the music hits, you feel no pain, which is a great line from a great song. Yes, <laughs> that is a really cool touch. It kind of <laughs> yeah. gives you that impression of it being sort of a custom piece. Mm -hmm. um, or, or something custom, but and it is in a sense because it has Bob Marley's right. name and legacy all over it. And it, so uh, this is really cool. So if you're a, a big Marley fan mm -hmm. and <laughs> environmentally conscious and, and aware and uh, you want to support charities that are also um, great for the environment, mm -hmm. uh, and what else? It, what about sound? Uh, they sound good. Like I actually, uh, at Christmas time, I got my dad, we had bundled the turntable together with speakers. He had been saying like, I don't have any way to listen to my records anymore. And I was like, you know, I think I can spring for the, the Marley, you know, the speakers and the turntable yeah. together. And I sent it to him and he seems very happy with them, um, which is nice because, you know, he's the man who kind of taught me to love music and, yeah. and showed me my first turntable, stuff like that. So it's kind of great to be able to give back in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so, yeah, I, I trust him. He's got a PhD in music education. Oh. So if he thinks they sound good, they sound good. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Good and enough for me. The group who's running uh, House of Marley, of course, they've made a, a huge effort uh, to be really buttoned up on all the details from mm -hmm. from the materials to the packaging now to the sound. Um, you mentioned it's a great mm -hmm. value at the, the, the price point, very mm -hmm. reasonable price points for most of their products. Um, so you're getting a lot in one product. Um, mm -hmm. and you're getting a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, conscious awareness, uh, also style, stylish uh, kind of product. I was going to ask you, as as a expert of this type of thing, of this type of um, mm -hmm. musical instrument, um, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what would you, how do you think the, I mean, if you're a turntable mm -hmm. um, fan and, mm -hmm. or hobbyist, you know, down to the last detail on the, the components built into a turntable, that matters for the overall sound up right. output, the, the end result. How do you think the, the sustainable materials being unconventional and traditional to compared to other turntables would do sonically? Uh, I think they probably did a lot of testing yeah. <laughs> to find out and to figure out the best way to do it. Because, uh, yeah, that, that's what any good turntable manufacturer will do if you look uh, you know, we have a compare function on our website where you can line up four items next to each other and see, uh, well, what does this one use for a tone arm? What what are the performance specs that you get out of that one? Um, everybody uses something different. Yeah. And they do that for speakers. They do that for everything. They make them out of different materials, but they always sound good. Yeah. You know, it's like... it. It's just a personal preference thing. And that's one of the great things about when you call Crutchfield and you talk to somebody like one of us who has used these items, yep. we can give you a reasonable basis of comparison. Like, oh yeah, you know, if you know, if you you can get a, a much more uh, expensive or advanced uh, cartridge, yep. stuff like that, that might not be what you want. That might not be what you need. You might just want to listen. You want, might want convenience, mm -hmm. um, but they all sound good. We're not going to sell something that sounds bad. Absolutely. We just don't do it. That, um, yes, I say yeah. that a lot on the yeah. phone. They say the very most baseline beginning <laughs> price point yeah. product you can be sure is not is going to be better than average. Is yeah. What now I budget say. is a criteria that people consider when they're buying something. Of course, we all have to consider our budget, but I think you can feel secure within your budget. We will get you something that sounds good at your price. Hundred yeah. percent, and also. Um, very unique, uh, well designed, well crafted, with the earth in mind. Mm -hmm. um, I want to check the comments here. Um, <laughs> I love it. Let's see, Todd. Thank you, Todd, for the shout out. He says uh, Crutchfield kicks butt, and um, we are glad <laughs> to agree. Um, no, thank you for that. Uh, cool. So now there is also speaking of record players and yeah. such, and going back to classic <laughs> music, etc. What 
is Record Store Day? Uh, Record Store Day is uh, a kind of a self-made holiday. Um, there were people who worked at uh, independent record stores who decided at some point that they wanted to bring people back to the record store um, because, you know, for a while there people were moving on to, to streaming or, you know, downloading, stuff like that, and, and the record stores were suffering. Uh, and there's something that personally I enjoy about going to the record store. Could I order an album and have it shipped to my door? Yes. I like going in and talking to knowledgeable people. Right. It's, it's kind of the same thing that I get working here. I get to talk to my friends who know stuff about the equipment. Right. That's what I get when I go to my local record store. I get to talk to somebody who is actually interested in, it, in helping me, might know of something tangential to the thing I'm looking for, say, oh, have you heard of this artist? Yeah. Stuff like that. I love that kind of personal service. Oh, yeah. And that's the, you know, people aren't going to know that that's even available unless they've stepped foot in their local record store. So in 2008, these people who owned record stores were like, we got to find a way to get people back in the record store. And so they wanted to celebrate and spread the word about the culture of record stores. And so they started this thing called Record Store Day. And I've actually got the website for it uh, pulled up on the computer. It's, uh, it's a very, very handy website. Um, and I actually have... Oh yeah, I love this one about show record stores near me. That's the first step. Figure out which ones are near you. My three record stores that are right near me just pop right up immediately. Um, and those are, in fact, the That's places cool. I go to buy records. And I have, actually, uh, a record store day release. This is one of the things that they do to make it worth your while to stop into your local record store. On record store day, they give you these releases that are not available any other time. They're debuted. On Record Store Day, you have to go to the record store to get them. But uh, yeah, this is one that I picked up. This is like a 2015 release. There we go. Um, uh, and and it says that. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's there's a there, logo right, right there yeah. for Record Store Day on the record, so yeah. you can tell when you get one of those exclusive releases. Once a year. Yeah, and then they also like a lot of times they will uh, invite artists to come in, DJs to spin records. Like there will be entertainment yeah. when you get to the record store that you would ordinarily not get. Uh, I found out that on the first record store day, for instance, Metallica went to a record store called Rasputin Music in San Francisco and stayed there all day meeting fans. And, you know, what a cool experience. That's awesome. Yeah, and so that's the sort of thing, like, if you visit this website, pop in your zip code or your city name or something like that, they're going to show you where you can go and uh, you can kind of look up. I think even, you know, where we are in the pandemic might be worth your while to check and see if they're actually doing in-person events right. before you just show up but uh but uh i hope that they are because they're always fun and it's a great it's a great thing it's a great reason to drop by and visit your record store and hopefully make a habit out of it in the future yeah 100 percent. and i and i hope that some of you watching have learned if you didn't know about record store day now that you now you do and that we've <laughs> eric has has let you in on this uh on this uh, cool event that happens. I, I really didn't know. And actually, I just got my first turntable uh, ever uh, last year from Crushfield. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting to know it, and I'm, I'm starting to really enjoy vinyl for how it's meant to be enjoyed. So, I mean, I'm just at the beginning of my journey, so I'm going to check out that website and see about possibly participating. Yeah. Also, um, cool. Yeah. See what some of our local uh, stores are doing, because I like going there on a regular basis anyway. It's just kind of part of my yeah. my weekend routine. Oh, yeah. Drop by and see what they've got. I like There's two things I like. I like that if I'm looking for something specific, I can ask the person behind the counter, can you get this for me? And they will give me that personal service. Yeah. And I also like the discovery process, what Jeff called crate digging, just going, digging through, and then all of a sudden you'll see something that will go like, <gasps> Yeah, and you pull it out and you run up to the front yeah. with it. I, yeah. Like either I didn't know I was looking for that or <laughs> yeah. that's what I was looking for. Yeah. And super excited. Um, well, that brings <laughs> us to, well, let me look at the comments one more time here. Um, oh, we have, uh, hey, we have a uh, hi from Charles in Southwest Virginia, who is a tech, one of our uh, tech supervisors in at our uh, Southwest Virginia call center. Hey, thanks for the shout out. Thanks hey, for Charles. watching, Charles. <laughs> uh, cool. So with that, without further is ado, time? is it time? <laughs> yes, it's time. Of course it's time. We've reached the time which we will announce the four winners of our Bose SoundLink Flex speaker, which we have been plugging for weeks. 
Congratulations to those of you have, who have tuned in faithfully to every bit of our content as we've been teasing this giveaway. Again, this is our first giveaway um, on a Crutchfield Live. It will not be our last, but um, are you ready? <laughs> I, I'm pretty, I think it's cool we that we ready? get to do the first one. I'm ready, super ready. I feel like I should pick this up and spin this. <laughs> Zoo! We had hair stuck in it. Oh, I spilled water. Yep. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, well, let's see. So. Let's just do it. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. I think I think we're ready to go, right, guys? Everybody? <laughs> Somebody came in with a suitcase with a chain with a around suitcase. their wrist and everything. Yeah. <laughs> this, these winners we have, have the been four in the names. vault. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And again, for those of you watching, and if you are a winner, we will you'll you you will see your name and location on the screen. But for those of you not watching, you're gonna get an email here and like uh, uh, tomorrow I believe it is uh, notifying of how to um, uh, with instructions on how to claim your Bose SoundLink Flex speaker. So, without further further ado, we have our four winners. We'll start with, are we gonna put them up on the screen now or are we gonna say them first? On the screen first. There we go. Boom, we got Christy, we got uh, Daniel, we got Claire, and we got Alex. Wow, Woo! congratulations Contra guys. Congratulations guys. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Christy, Daniel, Claire, Alex. We just got an ear bleeding experience because we want to celebrate you, celebrating that you are the proud owner winner, soon to be owner yeah. of a SoundLink Flex uh, on behalf I of I say Crestfield. we pack it in this stuff. I say we pack it in this stuff <laughs> yeah. in some of our edible. We're going to recycle cheese this. Puff, yeah. Um, <laughs> cheese, what do we call that? Cheese, cheese puff packing peanuts, which are now cheese puffs, not packing cheese puffs, not peanuts. Congratulations, <laughs> you guys. Thank you so much uh, for entering. Thank you so much for watching um, to all of you, some of you. I mean, I guess there's only four winners, so the rest who didn't yeah. who entered, there will be a next time for a giveaway. As a matter of fact, what are we yeah. giving away next time? Well, uh, I know it's going to come from SVS, yeah. which is a much beloved company that uh, I know first started out as probably one of the best subwoofer makers in the country, in the world, but I know they've started to expand their product line. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff they're going to offer up oh, for yeah. sweepstakes. So we're gonna do that. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning, we do uh, Crutchfield Live every other Thursday at 4 p.m. So we're gonna obviously be telling you how to get involved with the uh, the next giveaway from mm -hmm. SVS. Um, and again, thank you so much for yeah. watching. Thanks to those who uh, talked with us and asked questions in the comments. Um, what else? That's it, huh? Thanks for I watching. I had a great time. Well, let's I'm, have a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. And eat peanuts. And thanks, uh, thanks to everybody who's doing this in the production team. You guys are the best. And we will see you next time. Over and out. Yeah. <laughs>